Charlemagne? Who got the donkey of the day today? Well, just hilarious. Uh, donkey of the day for Friday, March 10th goes to Stefania Santabria. She is a 50-year-old fifth grade math instructor. Listen to what I said, 50-year-old. Fifth grade math instructor. Math. Math. Okay, the area of knowledge that includes the topics of numbers, formulas, and related structures, shapes, and spaces. Okay, you know, five plus five, six times two, eight divided by four. We all know what math is. Mm -hmm. And when you're in fifth grade, those students, you know, they focused on adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing whole numbers, fractions, decimals. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, well, Stefania Santabria, the fifth grade math teacher, faces charges including strangulation in the second degree risk of injury to a minor and reckless endangerment in the first degree. How did we get to that equation? Okay, what plus what equals strangulation in the second degree, risk of injury to a minor and reckless endangerment in the first degree? Well, let's go to ABC 7 New York for the report, please. Okay, Liz, usually when we hear about chokeholds in the news, we're hearing about something that police are not supposed to do because it's dangerous. Well, in this case, a teacher who was working as a math coach is accused of putting a fifth grader in a chokehold. Now, this was supposed to be educational, a demonstration, but the school district says that student fainted. Letting us know that a staff member there, a math coach, had rendered one of the students uh, unconscious. According to the police reports, it happened while teaching a group of fifth graders a defensive jujitsu move and demonstrating on three of them. Someone alerted the school nurse. The student regained consciousness, uh, it says the reports within seconds. Any idea how it came to be that she was teaching them martial arts when she's a math coach? You know, the, so the investigation is still ongoing. We're not sure exactly why she decided to do that. An investigation that resulted in an arrest a week later of 50-year-old Stephanie Sanabria at her home in Danbury. She's facing serious charges, strangulation, risk of injury to a minor, and reckless endangerment. Ma'am, ma'am, you're supposed to be a math teacher, not math hoffa. Hello? Okay? This is what I be trying to explain to my wife. I don't understand this new math at all, okay? Now, I'm all for teaching kids how to defend themselves, but I'm also all for everyone staying in their damn lane. If the class is math, if the subject is math, if you are indeed a math instructor, then why the hell are you teaching my child how to do a rear naked chokehold? Okay, you're supposed to be teaching calculus, not the camel clutch. You're supposed to be teaching my child how to do fractions, not figure four leg locks. Okay, this is the problem with the era we in. Everybody thinks they are an expert at everything. Nobody is actually in alignment with their actual purpose, okay? When you see a math teacher teaching kids how to do Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Dream, then best believe the math ain't mathing. Now, we all parents in this room. Tamar, what do you do when your child comes home and says her math instructor put them in the crippler car, the crippler cross face? Oh, pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody go get my bail. <laughs> oh, baby, it's going down. Yeah, I would have to have that math teacher teach me so I can teach her. Mm. Yeah. And B, what about you? Ah, well, female teachers, they got to deal with Gia. I'm sure Gia will put her in the Brooklyn headlock Hello. somehow, some way. Knock her right out. Gia put you in a chokehold before, right? She did. Yeah. And, she, and I almost passed out. Like, I was tapping the, the, the side. Really? Yeah. yeah, so now we can't play flight anymore. Because she, she had me in a lock, and I couldn't get out. And I was I was dying. And I was <laughs> dying. It's not funny, though. Dropping the clues bombs for Gia. Well, Don't you do it. That's my Don't stop right the there. bomb! That's a shame. Maybe can't beat nobody in this house. Not Gia, <laughs> not Logan. <laughs> like, nobody we can take. I can take Peyton. She won. <laughs> okay. Now, I, I will shoot this teacher a little bail. Maybe she's been seeing all these teachers online getting beat up by kids, so she was doing some preventative measures. She just had to let these little kids know that she knows a little something, something, just in case one of them get too sporty. Okay, sometimes you got to show people your strength so they know not to play with you. But here's the thing, Miss Math Instructor, when playing with other people's kids, or should I say when causing harm to other people's churn, you need to ask yourself one simple question. Why is the math book sad? I repeat, why is the math book sad? Because it has too many problems. And that's exactly, that's exactly what you're oh, going to have and deserve to have putting other people's kids in the Cobra Clutch. Okay, please give Stefania Santabria the sweet sounds and the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. You are 50 years old, big age of 50. Mm. 
Still wow. making choices like That's that. That's crazy. Yes, it is. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.